What's going on and welcome to Amnesia Rebirth. Where? I don't know. We're just gonna hump right on into it. I don't know why I keep saying where something's gonna happen. Cause uh, I can tell you right now, it never do. Speaker type, home cinema. How about some headphones? How about some headphones sound? How about that? Yeah, please. Uh, hit me with some options. Can we, uh, see my problem with the other ones has always been some of the video distortion effects. I would like those off, please. I'm immediate. This immediately reminds me of Soma. Is this made using the same like tool set as Soma? Game mode original. Start it up. Send me in the game. But I just recently got done playing Soma and it's it's just very similar. The simple icons to complex icons. This game should not be played to win. Immerse yourself in the story and the world. Fear and darkness are your enemies. Well, I'm sitting in the dark and I'm always afraid, so... Wish me luck. Is there a, a game? Oh, there it is. When you realize what the Aw, oh, dude, did I forget it. to put on uh, subtitles? We got some subby titles. Subtitle options. Um... Yes, all of the things, please. Thank you. Return to game. In hiding, Ooh. Curled in on yourself. Unable to show the world your face. Acting on the instinct. Lashing out. Even at those closest to you. Time has passed, and time is a thief. It has stolen your memories. The agony has faded, but so has every precious moment of joy. You have been hollowed out from the inside, and there's nothing left of the person you used to be. But you try. You try to remember how to smile. You try to remember how to love. And one day you crawl out from your hiding place and step back into the world. And then, every day, you do what you must to survive. Pretty, uh, pretty legit real statement right there. We are quite the artist. It's not like we're gonna die in a fiery plane crash. That guy next to him, the guy over there already looks dead. What's wrong with that dude's face? Dude, he's got like cuts and scars and stuff all over him. I know someone who can help you. Did you see him over there? He does not look okay. Dude, look at the guy in front of us. He looks dead too. Am I in here with a bunch of monster models? Yeah. Well. Welcome to the nightmare.
Uh, did we die? Don't forget. Don't lose it. No. no. Come on. Need to find him. He must understand. Don't forget. It's her. It's her. It's all because of her. Focus. I am Tessie. I am still Tessie. No. You're still you. I mean, maybe. It's arguable at this point. You don't look good. Yeah, you look all like veiny and like weird like everyone else did. I will struggle with some wiggles, my friend. Wiggle my sticks. Wiggle me this. I can make it. You can't stop me. I can make it. I just need a drinky. This is like alcoholism. Drink it. I, I have laudanum. It will help, but you must try to keep calm. What's in laudanum? It will get worse. Do not allow yourself anger. Do not allow yourself to fear. You understand me, Tassi? What is in laudanum? Nope. Not a lot number. Not a lot number. What is laudanum? Where are they all? Where's Salim? It's an opioid that was made into a tincture or an alcoholic solution. It was a well-celebrated beverage during the Victorian era due to its pain-relieving properties. Laudanum was used as a remedy for many types of ailments, from common colds to more complicated conditions such as heart disease. Did it work? Like in any way or is it just a pain reliever? Active ingredient. Also known as laudanum and formulated for oral administra administration, opium tincture is made of air-dried poppy. It literally is just made of poppy. Contains alkaloids such as morphine and codeine. Oh, it's like a cocktail. It's like a cocktail of opioids. Well, no wonder people were celebrating it back in the Victorian era. Their lives were terrible. They had no TV. They couldn't read, like, they played games like chase each other and hit each other with sticks. Like, they dreamed of being a blacksmith's assistant where you were gonna get, like, you were just lucky. That was, like, the best job. You could have food on your table, and all you had to do was work in a scorching environment from sun up to sun down and just labor away nonstop all the time and do whatever the kingdom asks of you. Anyway, I'm rambling. But then you go home and rock some laudanum. You know, suddenly spending all day tilling the fields don't feel so bad. Hello. Hello. This is Tessie. Yeah, I'm here, bro. But like, I don't know what the radio button is. You know what? I want to. Try not to mess with too much. I'm really trying hard. To open the doors and containers, first interact with them. Okay, so we have a broken door handle. Yeah, bro. Like, back off. I'm worried I'm gonna hit something. And the only logical conclusion I can come to is I'm gonna pull one of these levers and the whole freaking plane is gonna like rock. All right, let's pull some levers. He'll try again later, great. Here we go. Nothing. Can 
Can I not turn it back the other way? No. It's like, nope, it is, it is, that's, no, I can. These controls make literally no sense to me. Um. Oh, hint, open my inventory, cockpit door handle. Jesus Christ. Man, you know, when you're born an idiot, sometimes you just stay an idiot, unfortunately. It's beautiful out here. It's a lovely day in the sun. There's a vulture eating one of my friends. Smash that thing open. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Whole lot of nothing. Can I like throw these things? Ooh, I can throw stuff. Hmm. Okay then. Let me pick up a rock. Come on, come on, come on. Give me a rock. Come on. I can hit that bird. Give me something. Give me something. Just give me any little old thing. Anything. Anything at all. Quit having flashbacks. Give me the pillow. Fine. The pillow. The camera. Dude, check this picture out. Well, like most things in my life, disappointing. God. Oh, God. Well, on the bright side, they were to dead. Get out of the sun, dummy. You gonna die. Wait, thank you. Oh, we have no choice. We need to get them to shelter. I know. It's Selim. He's hurt. You know what he's like. Let's get him down there, then you and I can sit on him while the doc takes a look. Don't worry. The caves aren't far. Sit on him? Why do we need to sit? Caves. Okay, we'll sit on him. Oh yeah, I can run, right? Do 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 Oh, come on, man. I'm like, I'm trying to be out of the sun for a second. Cool off for like a minute. I don't want any cat tongues. Get out of here. It does look like it was cut in a concerning fashion. Uh, that doesn't look like the caves. Although there could be caves in there. I should run wide just to be sure. No, it's not looking like the caves. Let's keep going. Stay in the shade. Let's go. We're lost in the desert again Here in the land of Sheehan We're in the desert waiting for death It really sucks, I cannot just It's time to run Oh yeah, time to run Got any little caves back up in here? No? Alright. We will continue forward. Ooh, I can jump. Hi -la! One, two, three, huh! One, two, three, huh! I was going to be an Olympic 
high jumper, but took an arrow to the knee. Ha ha ha! You know, after all these all this time, someone actually explained to me what that meant, and that means that you got married. I always thought it was literally you took an arrow, like it was like an excuse. Oh, I took an arrow to the knee, so you know I had trouble walking. My knee was bad. No, I took an arrow to the knee. I kneeled down and proposed. Blew my mind. We're in the poopies. I do not like the poopies, but we are in the poopies. I would take that water skin and fill it up with any water I manage to find. Oh, oh there is a cave. There it is. Oh, thank God. There might be some goodies over here too, so. Don't get too excited about the cave. Dearest Postcard. Susan, dearest Alfie, the stories don't do this place justice. It is. Oh, come on. You can't back out and then it still reads it to you. You have to like be in it the whole time. Nah. Get out of here. Come here. Chief people wrangler. Name, we're in the cave. Oh, Tazi, look at the hands. Such tiny, perfect fingers. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, my little one. Okay. I gotta be honest, I was drinking tea. I quit paying attention. Welcome to the cave. You have amnesia and you're going into a nightmare. Is anyone there? Salim! I mean, I don't know how excited I'd be to be yelling. There's a lot of blood here. There's fire. Hold him more tightly or the stitching will tear. I... Oh, I'm sorry. I will be still. Salim, I have you. I have you. Well, it was this like the world's heaviest plate. Give it to me. Stop. And do me dirty like that. A lot of collectibles. I, I had something to say to you. A whole speech, something poetic, but. Okay. All right. Laudanum. Great. Pencil. Get out of here. Can't open the medicine box. It's prohibited. Know your place. Dude, we were here for a long time. Dude, this is like built up. This is like built up over the course of like weeks. <clears throat> this is it. I mean, at least days. Several days. I mean, that's even assuming they had the energy to do it the whole time. I have no matches. I have matches. I am not going to light a match right now because I don't feel like I'm actually in danger at the moment. So let's save them for a minute. Gotta be honest, I, I nothing about the story has really caught me so far and like pulled me in and made me get really interested. It's just not my kind of story. It's nothing personal to the game. I'm just uh, very particular. I like in, in my horror stuff. I like the like the science fiction element. When we get to that stuff, I'll start listening. Yeah, employees. Everyone's all weird. Dude, how many like little hidden things are there? There's like 50 in just this area. Look at that, you see the ground like warping? I don't know if that'll actually show up on the recording. Anyway, let's move on. It's a brush. Much crap. 
Can I not open it because there's stuff on top? Now, can I open it? There he goes. There's literally nothing in it. Never mind. It's just a waste of time. All right, let's 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 speed this up. I'm getting distracted by all the exploration. They're giving me nothing. Salim? That end, huh? Oh. This doesn't seem bad at all. Yeah, can we, uh, interact? Perfect. Is there another one we can get, maybe? Nope. If only I had a lantern. Ooh, more matches? I will use one, then. Totally worth it. Get rid of that. It's gonna burn you. Can I take this torch? Come on, man. He was hurt. He can't have gone far. She's sleeping now. Oh. This is from Selim's old diary. Shouldn't have headed towards the light. Should have known. I should have known. It's like, oh yeah, look, idiot heads towards the light. Oh, I feel so much better in here. Yeah, this place is nice. What we got going on? Oh, what are you? Holy mother, hear my plea, Tim. Okay. Weird. Well, anyway, we're going to go ahead and call it right there. This has been Amnesia Rebirth. Uh, the second one, it's seeming much more appealing to me. Uh, I'm liking it more already. Graphically, it's much more palatable to myself. I had a lot of issues with the first one where it was causing me problems with uh, motion sickness and stuff like that. Where it was really frustrating, a real issue. Yeah, we got across. Don't worry about it. We good. Oh, come on, man. We're barely out of the light. We're essentially in it. Don't be upset. Let's go. Well, we aren't so in it anymore. It's gonna suck when you fall. We struggling. We struggling. There's something. My eyes. No, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Get to the get to the shiny thingy. Get away from the shiny thingy. Anyway, so that's Amnesia Rebirth. Uh, if you'd like to find out what happens next in this awful nightmare, Xbox Game Pass. You too can have a wonderful good time. And good luck. Till next time.